What's up guys, I'm Ross Lynch, and this is how I tape my hockey stick. Basically, it's pretty simple. I just do white on top. I like to make sure there's a little hanging over the top. It, it seals that cap thing in. But then I just go, so I go once down, and then I just go back up, because I like it. It feels like a little bit cushiony. You do two rows, I guess. I put just like a few extra rows right on the top. That's that on the top. On the bottom, I kind of like the thick tape. It, it just makes it faster. They're different textures to me. White seems to be thicker, and it seems to be a little stickier, but also aesthetic reasons. <laughs> this I just do like from the heel to the toe. You gotta have a pretty tape job if you're gonna be scoring goals. But then watch me mess it up because we're on camera. <laughs> oh no, whatever. It is what it is. I feel like I'm always changing my tape job, honestly, just for like fun. If you're like into like a certain player at this at the at the time, or for some reason you're like, dude, I want to play like this guy. I just cut this off just because you got to be able to do a toe drag. Can you imagine? That's pretty much it for me. It's pretty simple, but that's how I like to do it. What's up, guys? We're the Lynch Brothers. Yo, this is our hockey life story. We just finished a four month world tour. Maybe the best one we've ever done. Oh! Hockey's just been in, it's just been like a family tradition like our whole lives. For as long as I can walk, I've been in this game. You want a hot Cheeto? <laughs> Move, bitch! Deep into 2023. Let's recap back to January. Queen B singing in Dubai, filmed illegally. Noah Schnapp came out, Selena versus Haley. February, the Chinese spy balloon burst. A man like Harry winning Grammys was apparently a first. Ariana DeBose and her BAFTA rap curse. Ice Spice and her iconic da 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 verse. March, Taylor's Eras tour began. Everybody freaking out about a TikTok ban. April, AI got out of control. Barbie posters were posted by every local. May, Chris Brown and Usher Melee. Met Gala was a furry little problematic slave. British man gets a hat at his little party. Ice Spice on stage with Tay Tay. June, Alexa Play Nowhere by Jordan Sparks. Billionaires got lost down with the sharks. Miranda's ukulele got completely torn apart. Grimace came and we guzzled it down by the cart. July, NPCs were a big deal. That motherfucker back there is not real. Party through the microphone, air guy made a squeal. Ariana pulled off the famous SpongeBob steal. August, Kanye on a boat with his booty crack. Lizzo gets called out, but she hits back. Lots of Nikki's flooding Call of Duty maps. Trump mug shot hit Joe double tap. September, the Roman Empire is back. Kim debuted the Not Courtney group chat. Ashton Kutcher and Meg from Family Guy backtrack. Britney Spears with the Spears Shrek swamps on the app. October, it is only just day one. Bed bugs have just had Paris overrun. AI girlfriends are rising by the ton. This has been 2023 and we're not even done. Is that bro? <laughs> Alright, I know your shoulders were hurting, so take a deep breath. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
back. So patient said that he's experiencing trouble breathing. I'm just gonna have to go this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so neck pain is usually... <laughs> <laughs> now this position is a little awkward, but trust is gonna help your shoulder. Ready? Three, three, take a deep breath. <laughs> right, so we're gonna have you sit in this special massage chair right here. Okay, good job. All right, I'm just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying you had shoulder pain? <laughs> yeah, I can feel the knot. Hold on, let me just... <laughs> C7 joint, I feel a little tension. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> so today the picture was speaking about back pain. And uh, usually just take a deep breath. breath. Oh. <laughs> Alright, now take a deep breath. This is gonna help with the joint pain. <laughs> How do you pronounce her name? <laughs> uh Zendaya. 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 Put a little hat over there. Oh, look at that. Zendaya, like opposite of night. <laughs> okay. And I just put sexy girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. All right. All right. Point for Chaz.
Javante. Yes, ma'am. Whatever happened to that one boy? Who? Yo, one friend. One friend. Remember, I used to pack an extra Scooby snack in your lunch for him because he was. my jet from third grade? Yeah, from third grade. Whatever happened to that boy? I don't know, Ma. Don't talk to that boy. Mm, he just crossed my mind. He was such a sweet little boy. Hope he's doing all right. Jesus. Y'all not friends no more? You don't talk to him at all? No, I don't talk to that boy. Man, that was a good friend. You should have kept him. I liked him a lot. Mm, okay. I didn't want nothing. I just. Hey. You think you Facebook? I don't worry about that. I love him. Bye, Mom. Okay. Bye. That's all I wanted, baby. Okay. <laughs>
You got a lot of nerve to ask me for Starbucks right now. Are you kidding me, Rebecca? Always the last minute. Every year, last minute. Remember last year when I had to wrestle that asshole to the ground for the last pack of highlighters? <laughs> I'll do it again. I hope you have a notebook at home because there's not gonna be a single piece of loose leaf paper left. <laughs> no stopping. No stopping. Don't even look, we're here for school supplies, that's it. <gasps> See, I knew it. I knew it. No, I still have all your folders from second grade. You'll use those, that's it. I don't care if it has Teletubbies on it. Does it hold a piece of paper? All right, it works. We're not getting a new pack of pens. I collect a new pen every time we go to the bank. All right, I got like 30 pens at home. Get new folders every year, ridiculous. You think your friends are gonna care? The pen says TD Bank. Give me a break, Rebecca, really? I still have dried up Elma's glue from when you were in kindergarten. Put it back, put it back, Rebecca, put it back. I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding. Another binder, what happened to your binder from last year? You want a new color? All right, I didn't realize this is a fashion show. <laughs> Self-expression, why don't you express yourself by getting a job? No. For your locker? Cues. Your friends write your notes, you write your homework assignments on it. What about a ruler? 99 cents. You haven't used a ruler in eight years? All right. They're plants. They're plants and they're push pins. 529, you're not getting these. They're not that cute. Yellow or red? You can't be picky now, Rebecca. You waited too long. Yellow or red? Yellow, it's like the sun. Very bright. It's very nice. You like it. You know what? You got these at the dollar store. Better at the dollar store. Next year, you can ask your father to do this. I I'm not doing it. Laura, hello, how are you? Where'd the summer go? Crazy. Ask her what homeroom she's in. 220, ah, uh, we're 315, right? Maybe next year, maybe next year, okay. All right, you gotta be nice, Rebecca. All right, smile, say, how was your summer, Mrs. D'Angelo? I don't care that you're not friends anymore and her daughter's a loser, all right, I don't care. Stanley Cup, who's Stanley? I bought you a Brita water bottle last year. It's a $40 water bottle, you asking me for Stanley Cup? It's ugly, Rebecca, it's really ugly. A new sweater, it's 80 degrees, Rebecca. I think you can stick with shorts for a few more weeks. <laughs> I'm the mom, and I'm almost positive that it's gonna be a boy. <laughs> I'm the dad. Um, I think it's going to be a boy, but I hope it's a girl. Hi, I'm Auntie Aubrey, and I think you're gonna be a boy. Hey, baby, I'm Uncle Bennett, and I think it's a boy. I think it's a girl. Hi, I'm your Auntie Sarah, and I think you're gonna be a boy. I think you're gonna be a boy. <laughs> you're a boy. I know this. I think it's gonna be a girl, but I don't own anything. I think you're gonna be a girl. I think it's gonna be a boy. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm your Aunt Bree, and I think you're gonna be a girl. I think you might be a, a, a boy. You're a boy, but I wish you were a girl. I'm so sorry. I think you're gonna be a girl. <laughs> and I think you're gonna be a boy or a girl. You're honestly, be whatever you wanna be. I, it's your uncle <laughs> and your auntie, and we think you're gonna be a boy. You're a boy for sure. We think it's a boy. It's definitely a boy. <laughs> it's a fucking boy. <laughs> so I met a Karen today, and I, <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I was taking a bus, and it was like a 19-minute ride, right? Um, I get on the bus and it's fully packed, okay? There's one seat available. The back is filled with like middle school children that just got out of school or something. And then the front is all old people. There's one seat available and it's behind this old lady, right? So I sit there and it, you know, I mind my business. I'm on the phone. So I'm on the phone with my friend and I'm just, you know, talking to her about whatever. And again, this trip is 19 minutes long, okay? For the first 10 minutes, I'm speaking English. Okay, I'm just talking to my friend, normal, casual, whatever. This whole time I'm speaking, I could tell she was chuckling. You know what I mean? She was giggling a little bit. Now let me give you a description. She's sitting in front of me. She's like maybe like 65, like seven years old, something like that. Her hair's like to here. She has like a bob, you know, super straight bob. Like I don't know if it was like you know a blowout natural. I don't know. But every time there's <laughs> there's like a speed bump, it just went like Nicki Minaj music. You know. What I mean? Like when that started happening, I just like was on the phone with my friend and I didn't want to say in English, obviously. So I was just like in Arabic. I was like, oh, like the lady in front of me is so cute. And it's like making me like laugh low key. Every time there's a speed bump, like her bob just goes like, you know what I mean? So my friend's like, oh, ha ha ha, like whatever. 
But then now that I'm speaking a different language, she had a problem with that. So she was reading her newspaper, okay? And mind you, I looked, okay? I took, I took, a, I took a peek, okay? She's reading fucking like, like ice skating news. Fuck off, fuck off. Like if you're gonna be like so pressed about whatever the fuck you're reading, like may, let it be like a political issue. You know what I mean? Ice skating, fuck off, fuck off. All of a sudden she starts twitching, okay? Starts twitching and all of a sudden she like turns around. And this is, this is what I saw, okay? She was holding a newspaper and she was shaking, okay? She just goes like, I was like, excuse me, what the fuck was that? I immediately started telling my friend in Arabic. I'm like, yo, this lady just turned around and vibrated at me. Like, I don't know what the fuck. She's like, what do you mean by vibrated? I was like, I don't know. Vibrations in the nations was in front of me and I don't know what happened. <laughs> I genuinely like, didn't know what to say. So I just like ignored it. You know what I mean? I just continued speaking to my friend in Arabic and I was like, yo, she keeps twitching. Like, I don't know what to do. And like, she keeps like trying to like turn around, but like not make full eye contact. But she keeps like waving her newspaper at me. I was like, I don't know. Is this like a threat? Like, I'm confused. My friends just like ignore her, or whatever. And we continue talking about whatever. And and while I'm talking, she turns around, she literally goes like this, right? She goes, she goes. <laughs> what the fuck? Actually, I was taken aback, to say, to say the least. I felt like I had two options in that situation. Is, you know, a peaceful, Muslim, good human being going to respond? Or is a deep going to <laughs> I personally felt like a deep thought day, you know what I mean? I, I, let, I let the Arab take over. I looked her dead in the eye, knowing full and damn well that she listened to 10 minutes of conversation with me. And I said, sorry, I don't speak English. Um, English very little, sorry. <laughs> Wait, she looked at me. She looked at me like she could have actually jumped me in that moment. As a seven-year-old, she would have taken me in that moment. I felt it. I fe if there were no witnesses, I would have been gone. <laughs> she looked at me with like, she's like, oh, don't give me that. Don't give me that. I was like, oh no, like, <laughs> like, that was the best. Honestly, wow, wow, wow. What an experience, you know? So she starts looking around. She's like, do you not hear him? Do you not see him? See something, say something. I was like, I feel like that's racist. I feel like that's fucked up and racist a little bit. Just a little. Starts pointing at people like whatever. Starts pointing at this guy and she's like clicking at him and whatever. And he's not listening. He's looking straight ahead, like whatever, right? And then eventually like, after she did all of this, he looks at her and he's like, yeah and then she's like pointing at me and like yelling screaming like whatever and then the guy just like looks at me looks at her looks at me and then just goes just leave the lady alone and i was like i didn't say anything like but i didn't say it in the english i just continued in arabic i was like sorry my wife fucking english sorry sorry so i just shrugged right like i'm like oh like i, I don't know what's going on because i don't speak english and then he like he asked the lady the lady he was just like oh like what's the issue what's the problem so she starts screaming at him she's like he's causing a disturbance he's sc he's, sp he's screaming in a different language blah blah blah, blah. see something say something da, da, da. and then he just like looks at her and he was like i didn't hear anything and she was like he was screaming blah 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 and then he was like sorry i had my hearing aids off I was like, oh, your only witness just dropped, babes. I'm so sorry. God's on my side. God's on my side. But then a lady pulls up her phone and she looked like she was dialing 911. And she was like, thank you. Thank you for calling the cops. Blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, you know what? At this point, I had like five minutes left to the strip. I was like, bro, I don't give a fuck. Like by the time the cops come, like I'm going to be gone. It's not deep. So I was like, whatever. I'm just going to continue, you know, narrating everything in Arabic to my friend on the phone. And my friend is dying on the phone, right? And I'm still giggling. So then the lady, like, finally, like, whoever's on the other side picks up, and she's like, yo, there's this crazy white lady on the train, I mean, on the bus. She's screaming, kicking, and screaming for no reason. I don't know what these old people's problems are, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh. bro, I've never felt so good. Like, wow, I didn't even have to say anything. I allegedly didn't speak the language, you know what I mean? You know, I finally get out of the bus, I stand on the sidewalk, and I just wait right next to her window, and I just go... And I just see her drive by giving me crazy eyes. I was like, oh, bro, I feel like I have an op. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I can't go to certain boroughs anymore. Like, I might get jumped by the seniors. You never know. <laughs>
Can I get a clean up on Al 3? Can I get a clean up on Al 3, please? Clean up on Al 3. Excuse, is anyone listening to me? Does anyone work here? Can I get a clean up on Al 3? Ma'am, your order's not ready. Oh my god! Oh, I shit you not, back when we were kids, vampire teeth were these big-ass plastic things that you could barely talk in and made you drool like a motherfucker. Grandpa, I'm telling you, they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. Who the fuck are you talking to, dude? Fuck off. I'd give anything to be a kid again walking around with my portable CD player and my All-American Rejects CD. Who the fuck are the All-American Rejects? I'm gonna fucking hurt you. No, I shit you not, when you were in school and you got three of the same letters on the Scantron, you felt like a fucking idiot and you panicked. No, I shit you not, they were talking about protect the kids, but they didn't care if they got shot in school, or if they were stuck in foster care, if they, you know, were on free and reduced lunch uh, programs in school that maybe are cut or that they can't afford anymore. But yeah, y'all really give a fuck about the kids, don't you? Oh, you see, back then, we used to put our wired headphones through our hoodie sleeve so that we could be in class and listen to music at the same time because Bluetooth headphones weren't a fucking thing. Oh, shut the fuck up. You think gaming systems now don't have enough memory? Back when the Xbox 360 was out and they had external hard drives for it, the thing you'd fucking click in there, they were like 10, 15 gigabytes, okay? They were really fucking small, and I'm over here like, oh no, my console only has 800 gigabytes on it. What?